Does your OneNote for desktop run slow? Does it lag sometimes? For example, when you insert a printout, does it take a long time for the images to load? And even worse, does your OneNote freeze or crash altogether? If so, stick around because in this video, I'll share four tips to speed up your OneNote desktop app. Reduce background activities. OneNote runs a lot of activities in the background, such as indexing, text and handwriting recognition, and notebook synchronization. And these background activities run even when you're not actively taking notes in OneNote. So how do we reduce these background activities? Let's go to File, Options, then Advanced. Let's look at this pen section first. If you mostly type your notes on your computer and don't use a pen to handwrite your notes, I recommend disabling automatic handwriting recognition by unchecking this box. This doesn't mean you can't have handwritten notes. It just means that you're not able to search handwritten words and you won't be able to convert handwriting to text. Second, go to text recognition in pictures and disable it. Similar to handwriting recognition, this feature recognizes words and images and converts it to text. So unless you find this feature really useful, you can disable it by checking this box. Third, let's go to the battery options. This section has to do with how frequently the background activities run. If you choose maximum performance, these activities will run more frequently. If you choose maximum battery life, then the activities will run less frequently and will be less taxing on your computer. Disable auto syncing. If you're primarily using OneNote on a single device versus across many devices, you may consider turning off auto sync. You can always manually sync your notebook by using the shortcut F9 when you need it. You can disable auto sync by going to sync and unchecking this box that says sync notebooks automatically. Resize and crop copied images. Sometimes when we clip and insert images, they're larger than what we want or need. We can resize and shrink the images, of course, but OneNote will still process the original image size, not only when it loads the page, but also when the background process runs. Let me explain what I mean. So here in OneNote, I'm going to go to Insert, Screen Clipping, and from a PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to insert this slide. And it looks good, but the image is larger than I want it to be. So of course, I can shrink this down while holding onto the shift key to maintain the aspect ratio. I'm going to drag my mouse over and leave it. So even though the image is now smaller, OneNote is still recognize, uh, recognizing the original file size. So when it loads and when it runs the background processes, it's going to work with the larger file size. So one way to get around this is by uh, activating the Windows clipping tool. So I'm going to go to Shift, Windows, and S. And I'm going to copy this or make a selection over this image. And now that gets copied over to our clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this container for the original web clipping and then paste the optimized image, if you will, from the clipboard, okay? So now this is the original file size. The reduced size becomes the original. And another use for this, I'm gonna go back to screen clipping, bring this over. OneNote does not have a cropping tool uh, within the application. So another way, a workaround for this is to, again, activating the Windows clipping tool by using Shift, Windows, and S, and just dragging a selection over the section of the image that you want to crop into. Okay, again, that gets saved to the clipboard. I'm going to delete the original image and then paste from the clipboard, okay? So this is a way to crop and make the image file size smaller. Disable graphic hardware acceleration. 
Graphic hardware acceleration moves graphics and text renderings from CPU to GPU for better performance, but this may also put too much stress on the graphics card and cause issues. If you experience your OneNote application freeze or slow down, you can try turning off hardware graphics acceleration. You can do this by going to File, Options, Advanced, and under the Display section, Disable Hardware Graphics Acceleration. And to further reduce the burden on your GPU, you can turn off animations in Windows. You can do that by typing settings, then selecting ease of access, and under the display section, scroll down and turn off or toggle off show animation in Windows. Again, this step is to reduce the burden we put on our GPU. Don't let your notebooks grow too large. Split larger notebooks into smaller ones and close the ones that you're not actively using. Naturally, when you have a lot of content in a single notebook, your search will take longer, your background processes will take longer to complete, and your cache files will be larger and more prone to corruption. Create a new notebook for the new year or for larger new projects. And you can close older notebooks not actively in use. You can always reopen them if you need it. And I have a full tutorial on how to do this, so be sure to check it out uh, if you're interested. And these were my tips for speeding up your OneNote. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thanks, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.